What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Luigi from Super Mario. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw a circle for the nose. So we're going to start right in the middle at the very top and come all the way around the left side and then down towards the bottom. Go all the way around the right and then back up towards the top. Now I want to tuck the eyes in behind the nose. So we're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side and draw an oval. And go up, round out the eye, come down, and just pull that in towards the side of the nose. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to go over, come up and in, go up towards the same height, round out the eye, come down, and then tuck that in. Now I'm going to pull the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eyes. Let's start from the inside of the left eye, draw another oval, going up, come down, and then in. Now you want to trace the iris along the inside, going up towards the top, come down and in. Let's draw a small circle along the top of the pupil for a highlight. And it will fill the bottom of the pupil going around that highlight. Now from here we're going to tuck the mustache in underneath the nose. Let's start on the left side, curl the mustache going out, and we'll bend that up, line that up on the right, going out, and then up. Let's curve the bottom of the mustache coming up towards the center of the nose. So we're going to go out, come down towards the bottom, and then just pull that up in the center, across towards the right, and back up towards the top. We're also going to place the mouth in behind the mustache. Let's start back over on the left, curve the mouth coming down, and then up. Let's add the teeth going across the top of the curve, come down to the bottom, curve the tongue going up, and then down, and then we'll fill the center of the mouth going in behind the teeth and the tongue. Now just underneath the mouth, we're going to add a curve for the lower lip, coming down and then up, and it'll draw the bottom of the head. Let's start underneath the mustache on the left, curve the head coming down, around the lip, and pull that back up. Let's move back up and draw the side of the head. From the tip of the mustache, we're going to step out, angle up and out on both sides. And then from here, we'll draw on the ears. From the top of that line, curve the ear going up, around and just pull that in towards the side of the mustache. Let's add a fold along the top of the ear, going up and then bending that out. Now we're going to connect the top of the ear with a curve for the hat. Let's start back over on the left. We're going to go up above the eyes, go across and then back down on the right. Let's add the eyebrows tucked in underneath the hat. We'll start above the left eye with a curve, going up and then down. Line this up on the right. Now I tuck the top of the eyebrows in underneath the hat. So we'll start on the outside, go up and in. And it will fill the inside of the eyebrows. Now we're going to add some hair along the side of the head. From the top of the ear, step in, draw a straight angle line coming down and in. Just going to bend this out and then down towards the side. Let's draw on the hat brim. Starting from the top of the hair, we curve this up, go a little bit higher in the middle, and round up the hat, come across and back down. Now from here we're going to draw on the outside of the hat. Let's start on top of the ear, just going to bend the hat going out, up, 
and just pull that in. Now you want to go a little bit higher in the middle of the hat. So go up a little bit higher, round this out, go across and down towards the right. And we'll bend that in on top of the right ear. Let's add that circle in the center of the hat. Start from the top, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's draw that thick L inside that circle. Start from the top left, go straight down, go across the bottom, just close off the top and the right side with a short line, and we'll trace the right side of that L. Now let's move down to draw on the side of the body. Let's start underneath the head on the left side. We're gonna curve the body going out, come down, and just bend that in towards the hip. Go over towards the right, go in the opposite direction, come down, and then bend that in towards the same height. Now in between the hips, let's move to the center, step down and add a curve. Come down, and then up. Let's add those straps along the side of the body. From the top left, step in, curve out, and then down, go to the right. Now I'm gonna add a point along the bottom of the strap. I'm gonna come down, and then back up towards the side. Let's add two circles along the bottom of the strap for the button. And then in between the straps, we're gonna add a curve coming down and then up. Now we're gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the feet. We're gonna leave a small gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, come down and out towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve this down and then up. Now I'm gonna go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. We start by going up, just gonna round out the foot and bring this down, aiming towards the heel. And we'll just bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now I'm gonna go out to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Draw a straight angle line coming down. And I'll just bend that out on top of the foot. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the arms coming down towards the wrist. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. And we'll line this up on the right side. Let's curve the bottom of the wrist. We're gonna go up and bend that out. Go to the outside of the wrist, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming up, and it'll bend that back in towards the top of the body. So we're going up in an angle, and it'll bend that in. Let's add a thick cuff around the wrist. Starting from this point, we're gonna draw a bracket going around on both sides. Connect the bottom with that same curve, going across and then down. Let's move to the inside of the cuff and draw a small half circle coming in and then out from the thumb. And then we'll add a bracket on the end. Let's add three fingers on either side to create a fist. We're gonna start underneath the thumb, start by coming down, and then up around that bracket. Step down, we're gonna go out, and bend that up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around the hand and just pull that in towards the bottom of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna show a little bit of hair in behind the head. Let's start underneath the mustache, curve this around, pull that in behind the jaw. And then finally, we'll sign our artwork and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Luigi from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.